fun on YouTube. Um, just decided to make a quick video since I was going to do this anyway. Um, here at a Flying J in Ehrenberg, just at the border of California and Arizona. And uh, just scaled up on the cat scale. <clears throat> realized I was 80 over on my steers. So I figured I'd make a quick video on how to move the fifth wheel. Uh, given that I haven't seen one for the newer model of Freightliners, so <clears throat> if you're fortunate enough to have the release airbags or the dump airbag uh, button on your rig, uh, then this will help immensely, and I'll show you how in a bit. Uh, essentially, you want to put down your landing gear to lift up the trailer a little bit. By the way, this is for the Freightliner, like 2016, maybe 2018 and up. because it looks like that. Anyway. What you're going to want to do is so there's that, that airbag button I was mentioning. So you hit that, and drop the airbags, as you can probably hear. See the PSI going down for the airbags. And on this model, I know my buttons are dusty and they're dusty. Um, here, you'll hold that and it should uh, it should bring in the pins that are holding the fifth wheel. So you'll simply go ahead and put yourself in drive, release the tractor brakes, make sure your wheels are straight. Go ahead and hold the air slide. Looks like it's just a trigger one. And then you're simply just going to go forward. I just heard it disengage right there, so just work it. All right. And pop that back in. And let your airbags back up. Go back in neutral. And then go ahead and re engage your tractor supply here. And now we'll see that indeed the pins have gone back, and I should be good to go. A lot of people prefer having the pins all the way back. Um, they say that it's ultimately prevent the steers from being overweight again, but uh, it's their own. But now we'll simply raise the landing gear once again and we should be good on our way. Hope you guys have a nice day.